how to use Dropified for dropshipping. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Dropified for dropshipping. So let's get into it. Now, Dropified is a tool that you can integrate into Shopify, and then you can use it to get products from AliExpress and eBay, and you can start listing them on your particular store. So customers order from your store, and your orders get sent to the supplier at wholesale pricing. The supplier will send it to your customer directly, and you are able to make a profit without having to deal with any of the shipping, warehousing, or anything else. So let's get started on Dropify. Now for this, obviously, you need your Shopify store. And I'll show you guys step by step how you can integrate this into Shopify. So to get started, I like to build my Dropify account first. So I'm going to head on over to dropify.com and click on get started over here. Then we're going to click on get started. It's free. And then you're going to join Dropify over here. So you're going to get the free access like so. And then after that, you will see different plans available. So we are going to, you know, select the pro monthly. And then if you go back now, if you don't want to select any plan and you just want to proceed for free, you can scroll to the bottom and you can select no thanks. I'll stay on the limited free plan. And once you do that, you can just go ahead and open up your email and you will find your verification present within. So we have our account verification and now I'm going to click on log into your account to be able to log in to my account. Now from here, I'm just going to build a simple password for our Dropify account. And once we do that, we are going to be led to our app. So this is the Dropify app. Now we're going to head on over to Shopify once we have created our Dropify account. Now once you open up your Shopify store, what you're going to do is click on settings on the bottom left, and then you're going to click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left again. From here, click on the Shopify app store on the top right. And once you click on the Shopify app store, you're just going to search for Dropify over here. Now, once you search for Dropify, it's going to be the first application so it's called dropified dropshipping and you're going to click on install over here now once you click on install you're going to click on install once more to integrate it into your shopify store and just like that you're going to agree to the terms and conditions and click on continue and then you guys can see we have the free plan like this and we have you know all our information available now this will just directly take you to you know your actual dropify account if you built your dropify account like i just did and just like that we can get started with our dropify setup so from here if i go into dropify you can click on stores on the left panel to see you know what type of stores they have all of their affiliate information all of that so we're going to go into Dropify and then go into stores. And this is our store that we have just linked. Now, after that, we can also automate a lot of the processes. But before we get into automation, let's actually search for products, which is our main goal. So for that, you're going to go into products and click on find products over here in the products drop down. Now, once you do that, it will give you three options. You can search for AliExpress products. For U.S. products, which are usually products that have been imported to the U.S. and will have a shorter shipping time if you're looking to start your business in the United States. Then you have Alibaba as well. So Alibaba usually gives you the best prices for products and it has a lot of different options. However, keep in mind that you want to not put in products of every category into your store just because you can. Try to go for a specific category. So for me, I want to go into the apparel and accessories category. And then within that, let's say I want to go for this kind of thing. So let's say I want to take this 
tracksuit. Now, once you click on the listing, this will open up the actual Alibaba listing and it will show you the different colors and sizes available, all of that. So from here, I can, you know, get a more detailed view of the product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Dropify and then I'm going to click on import over here. And then I'm going to just select my store and then click on import to store. Now, if you have an internal server error, just refresh and re-log in to Dropify if you are ever having an error. And usually it is resolved just like so. You can just reopen Dropify and go into find products. And I'll just go into women's clothing. Just waiting for our Dropify products to be loaded up. And I'll just take this product as an example and I'll click on import to stores and I can click on import and then the importing process will be completed. Now, once you import the product, you can edit the listing accordingly. You don't need to, you know, keep all of this jibber jabber in it because a lot of times these types of listings have super long descriptions and they have, you know, a lot of images. All of that might be a bit excessive for your store, especially because you want to go for a certain type of aesthetic or a certain visual appeal. So for that, you want to later on go into the my product section and you can just migrate your products from here and, you know, whatever product you might have and then click on connect. You can enter your AliExpress link from here or Alibaba link as well. If you have any pre-existing uh, products that you are importing and then we are just going to add the link ABC whatever is your supplier name let's say where was our supplier it's this one over here like so and then we're going to take the supplier name at the bottom and then you can save that as well to just make it easier for you to list your products and manage them from dropify as well now, after you have imported your product into your Shopify store, you can go into the order section in the left panel to be able to see your order processing. So if you want it to be automated, so as soon as the order is placed, it's directly sent to your suppliers or if you want it to be manual, all of that can be controlled from here. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.